<laughs> I thought I said a dance stick you had more. Anybody want avocado? I'll have a little bit. I just had one, I'm fine. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that was quite nice and healthy. I just love my stick. Boom, my stick. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just loading up on carbs. I'm loading up right now because yeah. when I get out of the Big Brother house, I won't, I definitely won't be eating like this. Three eggs. Yeah. I think I'd like it if we got a task and won a party. What? Mm. And I was telling them, I was saying that they were like, man, I felt like I sound like a real brat. I was like, I want a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they just give us three bottles of wine. It's not the limit for the party, yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah, but we want music and nice yeah. foods and fun stuff. I want karaoke. Yeah. I want to do my young MC. <laughs> What, darling? Oh, yes, they actually. <laughs> I found them in the kitchen. I they were in the kitchen. I didn't go through your things. I know. I know. I am. So you went into the field with the yeah, horse? Yeah, and so... Red man, um, red one. With red man and whatever else. And I... Um, and he sort of came up nuzzling to me and whatever else. And, and then some of the other horses weren't kind of um, getting close to me and I sort of took a sort of I sort of liked him straight away because they basically asked you to choose one that that you wanted Connect or that you it. liked yeah I mean for what for whatever reason and then she said okay let's go let's go over here into this let's walk away and meet some of the other horses see if, if there's anyone there that you, you want connect to connect with and red man came after no me. came after me and sort of nuzzling up and so I said oh I'll have him and so then comes the thing of the, it's, it's kind of this whole, it's a psychological interpretation of what's going on there. So did you, because when I first chose him, I chose him because he showed an interest in me. So she said, is that the way you choose people to be with just because they're interested in you? Do you not make that decision consciously mm. about who you want to be with? Or do you just take somebody first one that comes who is along. into... Almost. Yeah. Right? That's so very interesting. I then speak to my you have that conversation in your head of going, Oh. Then there was a whole of a whole thing of leading him and uh, you know, whether you're pulling him along when trying to get him to go and getting him to do things he doesn't want to, or him doing things that I don't want to and how I responded to that. How did I behave? To that and it was the whole thing about taking control and previous a lot of stuff with my mum came up you know lots of relations it wasn't just about sex addiction or anything like that it's about your human behavior and your emotional behavior and how that translates into the way that you've lived your life mm. and how you've allowed people around you to I want to do that and went yeah well there's places you can go and do it it's a wonderful but you have to be prepared for it to completely break you down I thought Bloody ho I mean, I love horses. What the hell do I want to do this? And it was all about your vulnerability. Your vulnerability was just shown. Of course, we had a camera and sound as well filming all this, but I was absolutely in peony. Yeah. And we're different people at different times. Unless you stay the same person. Yeah. And you're interested in finding out what that journey was and why were you the way you were. Yeah. Doesn't mean that you were bad then. It just means that how, 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 what, what made me 
behave or be yeah. the person that I was then. And what is it that's making me the person that, that I, I am, am now? now yeah. Part of that will be the way that you are now is because I you was presumably what? didn't, you, you've gone through that e episode and you want to, to be something else, else now. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, I can't understand her. I don't know who she is. And I feel cheated on because she was around for a, a very huge long time. part of your life. Yeah. yeah, she was around for a very long, a very, very long time. But and it's important, I always think, not to regret in terms of regret wastes a lot of energy and, yeah. and can be a lot of heartache. It's, you know, the old saying, it's never, it's never, you know, it's never a, a sin to sort of, you know, make a mistake, but it is a sin not to learn from it. Yeah. Whether, I, whether I like you that think analogy. Yeah. It's, not you know, it's just really important that you can have experiences and I certainly have been various different people or, you know, I look back and I think, wow, how did I... Apparently I we, we are an individual, we have almost like seven sub-personalities. Mm. Okay. We all have like characteristics of ours which can be divided in sub-personalities. Mm -hmm. So you are a sub-personality when you go out, you are one of those. You are one when you're dealing with business, mm. you are one when you interact with your parents, you are one, do you know what I mean? Mm. We all have sub-personalities, mm. but, and, you know. Ricky, yeah. you would said a very valid point there that you shouldn't have regrets. Mm. Yeah, no, and what, definitely. What, and what you've said it's about hard. relationships you've had and high-profile relationships and people knowing about Listen, it. How do, was have you not regret Sven? some of that where you kind of went, Rika, or do, do you learn like? No, stop you're saying, it. I want to know about Sven. Is oh, no. it really good? And you say that I'll tell you. It's, it's not. It's not a sin to make a mistake, mm. but it's a, a sin to not, not learn, to from, learn it. from it. Yeah. How did that so, happen? You, that's quite good. What you've said. It's not regretted, but once yeah. you learn from it. Well, I can't. I can't regret it because I can't undo what has happened before. Of course. But how things, did it happen? There are things. Two conversations going <laughs> yeah. on. No, no, no. I want to know now. I'm sorry. I'm fascinated. There are things that you do in your life. I mean, I think the, the thing in my life has been because because the few relationships that I have had have been prominent or they've yeah. been public. Yeah, of course. So people have, like we have, opinions Please. about other public uh, relationships. Yeah. And so, and people don't really know what's going on in yeah, the background. That's true. But again, being the sort of feminist that I am, <laughs> I look back at my very unfeminist behavior in the yeah, past, yeah. although I think at the very core of me I always have been a feminist, is that I sort of think, that I feel very strongly that the woman, and in this case it has always been me, is always to be, always seen to be the guilty one, or oh, it's my the woman fault. Always you know, it's my fault blame. the marriages have broken down, or that marriage, uh, relationships have ended. Uh, some might even allude to the fact that it was my fault that I was, you know, beaten up or whatever, you know, that's of sort course, of thing. Of course, I've got you. And that. I take my, I, well, I've always been a person who takes my share of responsibility, always, always, because I don't have an, I don't have an inflated view of myself and yeah. think that I'm too good to apologise mm. or to be in the wrong, although I am mostly right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, so I think that um, I do look back and I think, there are things that, of course, you wish you hadn't done, done exactly. you had learned, but I've yeah. learned so much from that. From and I that, think that yeah. was the beauty. And in fact, to fit the, 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 ironically, the relationship with Sven, and I can say this because I wrote about it in my book, available in all good bookshops. <laughs> <laughs> hardback. Yeah. Hardback. Got oh, please buy the hardback. <laughs> yeah. No, it was that. Um, that, that was, was the first big... relationship that I actually took a stance and I did, had actually learned something. To n I learned to be a bit Ulrika friendly rather than subject myself mm -hmm. to somebody who was behaving uh, in a way which I deserved much better or who wasn't even willing to... The thing was that, bam, I'm sure he's... <laughs> She's finished with him a long time ago. I don't think he's got a job anymore, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he was in the World Cup, wasn't he? Oh, he was yeah. managing Ivory Coast, I think. But, um, no, what, what I learned from that was that instead of, you know, there was somebody, it came out in the papers... Um, oh, God, it was a massive there deal, was, I It was a huge it. story. Yes. Well, of course it was. Mm -hmm. you there know, were outside like, your door you know, and everything. Two more unlikely people yeah. in that respect. But yeah, so I mean, that, that in itself. Out, and then, and then, very quickly, because the world is run by men and football is the most important thing, thing. in the world, mm. it became a story about myself and Nancy. It had nothing. Sven was suddenly, suddenly sidelined. Yeah. Whatever. It's good for you. Yeah.
Sonne, ey. <laughs> Preston? Yeah? Can you wash my apple, please? Wash an apple, yeah. Is that all right? Is that a nice one? Though? Should I be doing that? No, is oh, no. Is that one? What funny it's got one it? little guy there. Yeah, I don't want one with that's got maggots as well. Oh, this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're I don't all, want one. Oh, don't be surprised. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you have maggot in your year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I watched him at V the other week. How was he? So funny. I've seen him before. They've got a new thing, a new album or something, haven't they? They're so. I love Goldie Look and Chain. They're hilarious. There's this new band called Midnight Beast who, like, try and copy them. They're quite funny, but they're nowhere near as good. Huh? Is that bad? Do you want me to cut that bit out? No. Are you just going to put it back? Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. It's got two fingernails. Yeah. It is fingernails properly, isn't it? Yeah. It's gross. Guys. <laughs> I'm sorry that Delia let you down, Nick. No, I'm... And we had that kind of Swedish connection. Sounds of pathetic, course, but right. you know, when it first you could speak started. Swedish. When it first started. It was... Crack on. Like some wine. Huh? So you feel like some wine. Yeah, I might just have a little glass of wine. Have it. Just like a bit like. Why have not? Let's <laughs> nice do it. Brilliant. Surely something's got to happen today, because I can't believe they'd let us sit on us for the third day in a row and not do nothing. I know. Well, we had, well, we had Dara last yeah, night. Yeah, I suppose. We had Nikki's task the day before, so... Yeah, you're right. Because it's eviction, they might just go... Mm. We can't be bothered, we're trying to cut in Josie going. And, and also, Saturday night, he's like a boring night. It's it, just a repeat I, ha I, don't, of... I don't watch it on Saturday, because it's... Yeah, exactly, it. so we yeah, don't need yeah. to do nothing today, do we? No. Mm. We, we can do a job, we can just go not talking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. It's sort of burning off, isn't it? I'm going to have a bath, I think. Yeah, it's nice, that bath. Have you been yeah. in it yet? No. It's lovely. I could stay in it for ages. It's something to do, isn't it? Mm. What's it, Friday? Yeah. I can't believe it's Friday. It feels like Saturday. It's gone so quick this week. Like, I think that we got picked up on Monday. Mm. Get back from Cyprus. Much of tomorrow. Oh, really? It's horrible thinking that she's not watching. Oh, I bet she is. They must have English te uh, telly out there. I think she watched Launch, but she's not going to go to the bar every night. Oh, I bet she will. I hope so. Oh, I, I bet she it. will. I'd say definitely. You're really close to your mum's. So I'd say 100% she will. Who's she gone with? My cousin. Oh. Where are the dogs then? My sister's looking after him, oh. begrudging. My, my, my I best friend, never, ever Jenny, we're, we're si we call each other sisters, and it's so important. So about that point also, from a shallow point of view. What? From a shallow point of view. <laughs> Here we go, you more know, detail. No, no, not like that. But you know when you ring your girlfriends? Well, I've met a guy. One of There's mad things, like you can buy like wardrobes for your dog's clothing. Oh, right. Sofas. Everything. Yeah, sofas, the lot. They've got nice beds. Yeah, I bought them nice little beds. Did you bring an egg? I've asked for them, I'm waiting. All right, what one sort of have you got? One of me, one of mum and the dogs. Yeah. One of my, me and my friend Sarah, and one of me and my friend Leon. Aww. You've got yours, haven't you? I saw the, the one of your mum and the dogs. All your dogs? Yeah, 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 I've got my dogs. They haven't given me the other one yet, one of my mum and my brother. It's a bit weird, but I think they've got to call them or something.